French voters will head to the polls later today in what's being described as a turning point for the country. Marine Le Pen's far-right party won big in the first round of France's two-stage voting process, sparking concerns it could be swept to power. Our Europe correspondent Catherine Dis joins us now from Paris. Catherine, g'day. What's the mood like on the ground ahead of this second round of voting? Good morning, James. Well, this really is a city on edge. You wouldn't think that given the tourists that are here enjoying a European summer and the fact that it's just weeks from the Olympic Games. But people here are divided, they're anxious, they're scared, and there's a heightened level of security and police presence on the streets here. They're becoming increasingly disillusioned with Emmanuel Macron's centrist Renaissance government. They're angry over increased taxes, raising the pension age by a couple of years, immigration and also unemployment. Uh, we've gone to a number of different suburbs across Paris to gauge their views. We went to Saint Denis, which is north of Paris today, uh, which is a lower socioeconomic community. It's got a high migrant population and it's also home to Jordan Bardella, who is the 28 year old fresh face of Marine Le Pen's National Rally Party. And that party's really capitalised on his story to try and modernise and moderate the party to bring in a larger swathe of voters. But the people we spoke to on the ground don't want him as their next Prime Minister. More than 70% voted for the far left Front Populaire Party and they're anxious and scared about what a far right government holds for France. Let's take a listen to some of what they had to say today. There is a racist sentiment that has been activated and made you know, acceptable and mainstream uh, that really benefited to the far right. Do you think that the, the national rally will win? Yes. Yes. That's scary? Yes, of course. That's scary for us. I was born in France, I'm French, but um, I'm Muslim and I have double nationality. I'm Tunisian too. And we are afraid, all my generation is afraid to, um, to live with them because they, are, uh, they do not tolerate or accept our differences. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day in a bit in uh, France, Catherine. So just tell us, how will this uh, second round of voting play out? Well, this, James, is a two-stage process. The first round was held last weekend and any candidate who doesn't receive 50% or more of the vote has to go to a runoff election, which is taking place tomorrow. So only 76 of the candidates managed to secure an absolute majority in their constituency, which means that 501 seats remain up for grabs tomorrow, where voters will again head to the polls. Over the past week, we have seen more than 200 candidates drop out from Emmanuel Macron's party and also the newly created left-wing Front Populaire party as they've tried to join forces to block the far right from getting into office. As we know, Marine Le Pen's party secured 33% of the vote in the first round. That's more than any other major party or alliance. But she still has to get more than 15% to be able to get that absolute majority to get into office. And given the events of the past week, it seems increasingly unlikely that they'll be able to do that but we'll know more when exit polls are released tomorrow at 8 p.m. local time that's 4 a.m. in Sydney as those polling stations close. All right Catherine Dears uh, reporting there from Paris thank you.